Greetings to everyone, I am Nicola from nn.web. Today it is time for a new tutorial. A few days ago I found the one very nice Facebook group. It is WP Learning Lab and the headmaster for this group is Bjorn Alpas. Also he has a YouTube channel with the same name just like Facebook group. It is about WordPress users group and here the users help each other. So if you are WordPress user, come here and share your knowledge with others. Inspiration for today's tutorial comes from one member from this group. She has a struggle with contact form 7. She wants to put some labels and inputs in one line. So I do some research, some small research, and I found the solution. As almost always, this tutorial will be short and easy. And without further ado, let's get going. Here I am in my custom 9 local installation of WordPress. And let's add a new form with contact form 7. I already installed this plugin. You can fi uh, find it if you click on plugins, add new and find contact form 7. And install it, of course. When you uh, add a new um, form, this is the settings. Let's change it a bit. Let's wrap the whole form in one div with class of whole form. You can use your own class. This is mine. Okay. Down there, let's close this div. Here we have labels for your name, email and subject and we will change this message that not be the text area with your message. Okay, let's first add another div around this label. With field space class. One more time, you can use your own classes. It is complete optional. Okay, this label here. Let's close this div. Okay, now let's copy this div to speed up our process, our work. And now here, we will add, for example, a phone number. Require field. Check here, require field. Insert a tag and change with this. Okay. And here, type your phone. Okay. Let's delete the message and add another div around this submit button. Submit a button. Okay, let's close it. Click on save. You can put a title for your form, for example, inline field. Click here on save. Now let's go on pages. I already create uh, one, one page here. And by the way, I'm using the Ocean WP team, but these settings, you, this, yeah, this way of doing the form, you can apply for, I think, all, of, all the teams for WordPress. I'm using the Elementor page builder. And here, let's add HTML, HTML element. Uh, okay. 
let's copy the contact form shortcode here copy this shortcode and paste it into your post page or text widget content okay let's paste it and click on preview our form looks like now but let's go to the customizer let's open it in another tab okay just wait a few seconds to load this okay inline contact form this is our page click on custom uh, css and here i already add some css code for i think my previous tutorial or the tutorial before that for styling another form for ninja forms plugin i think you can check it out if you want and here let's add code for CSS, uh, CSS for large screen for our form type whole form class not here it's my mistake sorry let's cut it and type the CSS for contact form 7 let's target our whole form class let me open and this is our form and here we have one div open tag close tag with class of whole form let's add it here and type one cool property this is the flex property okay click oh it's one. okay and here all of our fields and button goes in one line so let's target our next class this is a field space and put some padding padding right 10 pixels to make some space here okay and we need a little bit padding for our submit button to be in line just like here submit button i think this is our that class let's check it out yes submit button and type the padding 25 pixels for top and button you see and 10 pixels from for, for left and right okay click on publish let's go to the elementor and click on update see our page now and our form but if we open the inspect tool this is the large screen with this resolution but if we put it down i want to our field one on the top of the other or let me show you let's go to our customizer I already have the media query for max width of 600 pixels. That means the if the screen size less than 600 pixels, these rules here will be shown on the screen. Let me show what I mean. And again, if we want, uh, we need to target our main div whole form and type flex direction to be column okay let's publish and now if we refresh our page let's see on small screen this is the breakpoint see the pixels for width here and when we reach the 600 
and down. Our form will looks like here. Just a few more lines. Okay, let's add um, submit button class here and type the let's change the padding zero pixels and let's change our field space field field space margin 10 pixels and zero pixels let's publish let's refresh okay well this is our first second and third field with some space here and our button is in line with those lines and also it has uh, some space here if you want to learn more about css properties and html you can go on w3 school webpage or you can check my other videos on my channel so if you want to support my channel give me the thumbs up subscribe this channel spread the word with your friends and colleagues i'm very proud if this tutorial will be helpful to you for your personal projects or future projects thank you for watching this video see you next time bye bye